was 17 years ago when she was in the first grade. She was a shy little girl, not able to smile much, and we worked on that a lot, and she came around, and now she's quite talkative. And someone came to my classroom and said, oh, um, this, this is going to be your new friend. I wasn't sure what would be of her interest, so I put together this bag, which I call my little bag of tricks, I'm containing games, cards, arts and crafts. But as we got to know one another and we did more fun things, an hour flew by and it would almost sometimes seem like 15 or 20 minutes and it was time to pack up and go and put all the things back in my little bag of tricks and wait for next week. I brought a new game, tic-tac-toe, and she was real anxious to play. She was joking around and trying to fool me. The most relaxed I have found her yet. When Elena let me read her diary, I read a lot of things about her saying how excited she was to see me every week and I didn't even realize how important I was to her. Elaine made me feel like that she really cared and she was always going to be there for me. Um, no matter what I was going through, she was just, she never gave up on me. It just really became a good part of her life and it was a great part of my life too. I didn't realize how important she meant to me. And now that I'm mentoring, I feel that importance and I can spread those same values to the girls I mentor and hopefully they can just keep passing on. It could be a big chain of, it's just a big chain of hope <laughs> for younger people. I never had a daughter, and um, the relationship we have now is wonderful. I really feel like she's a part of my family now, and I'm happy to have her.